Hi guys, welcome to my channel again. We're gonna go ahead and do this look today. I know Valentine's Day has passed, but hey, celebrate love every day with your loved ones. I hope you're having a good day. And remember, if you're not, smile, cause Jesus loves you. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my next um, eyeshadow base. This is pretty white, but we're gonna blend it out really well, okay? And I'm taking this flat brush from Echo Tool. Ooh, I grabbed a lot of product. <laughs> I do have my eyebrows on, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over my lid. Oh, I grabbed too much product. Okay, <sighs> I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out with my fingers because your girl applied too much. And your finger always has the right temperature. You know? It's gonna melt the product really well into your skin. Okay, I have this e.l.f. flat brush and I'm just gonna blend it well, okay? Blend it well. This is also gonna help you um, carve out your eyebrow. And don't worry guys, I know this looks scary, but the white is just gonna help you pick up more color, you know, it's gonna be more intense. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Morphe 35-0 palette and I'm gonna take this shade right here just to set that cream that we just applied. This is just gonna help the rest of the colors blend easily. Okay, now I'm taking a fluffy blending brush. This is from Echo Tools. Take this color here I'm gonna start applying that in my crease really lightly remember the key in eyeshadow is not pressing the brush into your skin you see I'm not even pressing the brush you start applying a little product don't apply too much just start building it up Oh my crease. Sometimes you can't um, use the brush downwards. You won't go too far up. Circular motions. I'm dragging the product out like that. Go ahead and pick this color right here and apply. Really lightly, remember? We're gonna go in really lightly. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this color right here. This is a shimmery color, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over my lid. Just on this area, make sure you don't pass up. And I am using a flat brush. This is from Sonia Kashuk. Just to apply that color all over my lid. I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here, just a little. And we're gonna apply that on top of the color we just applied on our lid, just to add a little more shimmer. I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here and apply that the middle here just to add some light just a little now with the same blending brush i use for my crease i'm just gonna go ahead with no product i'm just gonna go ahead and blend it more just so any hard edges blend well and everything is seamless and beautiful <laughs> now i'm just gonna go ahead and take this color right here and just apply it on my brow bone that way it looks more natural and not white and it will blend out with your eyeshadow too i'm gonna go ahead and take this color right here and mix it a little bit with this one just a little and just to put on the outer corner just to deepen out a little bit not too much a little and keep the product down here
we're gonna move on to eyeliner I'm using my heart eyeliner the brush that comes with it I really don't like this brush but I'm just gonna use it today so you guys can see how it applies the product Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and apply our eyelashes. I'm using the Salon Perfect Glue. My favorite glue is the one from House of Lashes. I just don't have it right now. I really don't like Duo Lash. If you like it, girl, use it, but yo girl doesn't like it. I just don't like the fact that my eyelashes come off really easy and then you can see the white after like certain time. I just don't like it. But hey, I'm not hating if you like it. Just go ahead and use the glue that you prefer. I'm applying my Allure, Allure, Allure Definition Eyelashes. Get that at Ulta, Walmart, Walgreens. Um, yeah, go ahead and apply them, girl. Dry for about a minute. Just let it dry. It's way easier if you let it dry because if you apply it right after you apply the glue, it's just gonna move everywhere and uh, it's gonna make a mess. Start by applying it in the middle like that and then just pull out the edges see easy peasy now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the other one okay we have both lashes on I did went ahead and apply some mascara I applied this one from wet and wild right before I apply my lashes just so that way my natural lashes can stick to the fake ones so once it's dry just push them up and that way they're gonna stick now let's move on to our face I'm gonna go ahead and apply this moisturizing cream from Eu setting, eu setting. I don't know how you say that. I mean, I'm sorry. So I just go ahead and apply that to moisturize my face. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my baby skin from Maybelline. This is the primer. Apply this where you have really visible pores. Hey, Mia wants to join the video. It's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take a BH Cosmetics brush. Um, it looks like this. It's just really fluffy. And then I'm gonna take my NYA Under Eye Concealer. It's orange. And this is gonna help cancel out any darkness on your face. Orange helps you with your under eye, you know, because look at that girl. I have really dark circles, so this really helps me. I'm gonna do a little bit there. As you can see, I have been breaking out really bad. Oh my gosh. Stop eating those chocolates. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this Wet n Wild Cover All Correcting Palette. Looks like that. And since I do have breakouts, I'm gonna take this green color right here. And green helps you cancel out any redness. So I'm gonna apply it over my redness so if you have any redness on your face just go ahead and apply that any green concealer and just blend that into your skin okay so i've been loving this foundation right here this is the infallible total cover um, from L'Oreal this is super soft on your face but it's really full coverage but i did get this in a lighter shade so I do mix it with this one this is the matte poreless foundation from Maybelline so this is my color so I'm gonna go ahead and mix it with this one on the back of my hand just apply a little like that and then I'm just gonna mix it with the other one okay I'm just gonna dot my face with it <laughs> I really like a full coverage. I know it looks like I'm applying a lot of foundation and I'm gonna use my wet beauty blender and sometimes the beauty blender absorbs the product. So yeah, go ahead and take your damped beauty blender and start tapping and blending that into your skin. <laughs> I've been really loving this combo of these two foundations. I'm not really going to focus my under eye because we are going to go ahead and apply concealer. 
I went ahead and applied my concealer just to save us more time. I used the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige, okay? And I'm just gonna take my Beauty Blender again and start buffing that on into my skin. Tap, tap, and tap. How many times do I say tap on my videos? Girl, you know what to do. And if you messed up on your eyeshadow, you can just go ahead and clean it up, you know, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I did pour some in the cap. And then with my beauty blender, apply it under my eyes. Like that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take my Stay Matte powder from Rimmel. Since I'm not really gonna contour today, I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face with this powder. This is on the shade Nude Babe. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over my face. <laughs> After our face is set, we're gonna go ahead and take this natural bronzer from Rimmel. This is on the shade Sun Dance. And since I'm not gonna contour, I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze up my face just to, you know, look bronzy. Apply it there. As you guys can see, I have my baby Mia wide awake. I love her, guys. But as you know, recording with a baby, it's not that easy. <laughs> Wipe out all the excess powder out of your face. <laughs> and now using a BH Cosmetics 114 brush, I'm gonna use this Mary Kay Dark Cherry Blush. Now move on to my favorite part. I'm gonna apply this new Wet n Wild Precious Petals Highlighter. With my fluffy brush, I'm just gonna dip in and apply. And you already know the drill, girl. Oh, this is such a beautiful highlight. And this is so affordable. I believe it was like $4. Just apply as much as you want <laughs> you're gonna go ahead and apply this wet n wild liquid lipstick in Missy and fierce okay just go ahead and apply it all over your lips I am gonna take my bronzer and just with this brush I'm just gonna Apply it a little bit underneath my eyes just to smoke it out a little. I need the summer point, okay? Nothing too crazy. Back to my Morphe palette. I'm just going to take this color here and apply a little under too. Just like that. Go back to your highlight and with an e.l.f. brush, I'm just applying this in the tear duct, okay? Like that, just to open up your eyes. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy and try this look. Send me a picture, add me on all my social media, okay? Thank you guys for watching, I love you all. See you in my next video! And God bless you all.